Hello from high above the Caribbean Ocean. Today I'm sharing a ton of awesome functionalities packed into this Stream Deck Plus profile for the Mighty 787 Dreamliner. All you need is the free Pilot Deck plugin and this profile downloaded. You'll find the link and all the details down in the description below. So let's dive in. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner is one of the most advanced airliners in the world. At the heart of its flight deck is a state-of-the-art glass cockpit featuring five large LCD screens. These include the primary flight displays, BFDs, and multifunction displays, MFDs. A multifunction display is a highly versatile screen that can present a wide range of real-time information, such as navigation maps, engine performance data, aircraft system status, checklist, and weather radar. The first page of the profile is mainly for the MFD. On the bottom left corner you'll find the barometer controls. Tapping the touchscreen cycles between different barometric units and pressing the knob toggles standard mode on and off. You can also use the knob to manually adjust the barometric value. The MFD displays all sort of useful information about the aircraft and this is really where this profile begins to shine. Tapping the engine button reveals detailed engine data, which is super handy during various phases of flight. The 787 has separate MFDs for the pilot and the co-pilot, and you can easily switch between screens using the EGAS button. Up at the top you've got buttons to bring up system information, the CDU or even the checklist. Down at the bottom you'll find buttons to overlay additional data onto the MFD map, like weather, traffic, or terrain radar that's especially helpful when flying in low visibility conditions. Moving to the second section of the touchscreen, you can always return to the navigation display by pressing the ND button. And the second knob controls the map's zoom level. On the right side of the touchscreen you can find selection buttons for the MFD side. If you want to set, for example, system information on the left side of the screen, just select the left side first then pick your option. After that, select the right side and choose something like the checklist or CDU. You can set and select the combination of the setup however you find it useful. Moving forward, pages 2 and 3 are dedicated to autopilot controls with a few extra features built in. From this page you can use both the touchscreen and the knobs to control things like auto brake level, landing gear and flap configuration. The touchscreen gives you a visual status of the landing gear and flaps showing their real-time position. The buttons on this page include switches for the autopilot, auto throttle and flight director. You also have access to all the speed related autopilot functions like EIS Mac, vertical navigation and flight level chains. And finally the last knob on this page lets you set your indicated airspeed manually giving you full control when managing your approach or climb. The final page wraps up the rest of the autopilot functions. Here you'll find controls for lateral navigation, localizer, approach mode, heading hold, vertical speed and altitude hold. The first knob on this page is used to set the bank limit. When working with heading controls, the touchscreen lets you toggle between track and heading modes and the knob itself works just like the heading selector, twist to turn or push to activate. When vertical speed mode is active, you can set VS or FBA mode from the touchscreen and then use the knob to set your desired vertical speed value. And lastly, in the bottom right corner you'll find the controls for altitude selection and altitude increment adjustment, letting you fine tune your climb or descent with precision. Hopefully you found this helpful in setting up your 787 Dreamliner. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps me grow the channel and keep making more content like this. Be sure to check out my other videos and flying series as well. And as always, see you in the blue skies.